Bless you, praise the Lord. We just witnessed the eclipse, didn't we, my wife? Oh, yes, we did. I mean, an eclipse that we saw, it represent the glory of the Lord. Praise God. Jesus is the wonderful counselor. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the mighty God. The eclipse that you saw in the sky. God bless you, young man. Good to see you. God bless you. Good to see the young man today. Keeping this place so clean. Then we saw a diamond in that came out the eclipse, a little diamond. That diamond that diamond represent that you are a diamond in the eyes of God. Ain't that wonderful? Tell us when you a diamond. You're a diamond. In the eyes of God. Look how the eclipse brought the whole world together. Mexico, <laughs> Illinois, Indianapolis, especially New York City. There was no racism when everybody came together. Like my wife said, I wish we could be like that every day. It was a spiritual experience. Even people got married before the eclipse even came out the same day. They were just hugging each other, loving each other. You know, blacks and whites and Mexicans and Indians and Chinese was coming together because there's so much sadness in the world. And you know, the news reporters is always reporting sad news because it's, um, it's always sad news, bad news going on in the world. You got the war going on, you got people getting kidnapped, babies are getting raped. Every time you turn on the news, there's always something bad. But it was good to see an eclipse come out today. That was God's creation. And it, it made everybody happy. Yeah. It made everybody come together. Right. It made everybody love each other. That's where you're supposed to be in the world every day. Let me say something. There's no racism when it comes to God. He loves you whether you're white, black, Puerto Rican, Indian, Chinese. Honey, I love everybody. Ain't nothing racist about me. It was good to see everybody come together and being happy because everybody's not happy. God wants you to be happy. I know it's hard to keep your joy because there's so many problems we go through in life. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. That eclipse represents the glory of the Lord. Someone said the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Then the Bible declares that his hair is white like snow, eyes flame with fire, yes. feet like fine brass, hair like white snow, uh, hair is like wool. Mm -hmm. John saw the glory of Jesus Christ. Now, he didn't see all his glory. He just saw some of his glory, and the Bible said he fell like a dead man. He wasn't dead, but he fell as a dead man because his glory, you know, he shines so bright. That eclipse, you had to put on some glasses because right. what happened if you didn't have no glasses on? It um, affects the nerves in the eye, the optic nerves in the eye. That's right, so they had to have on special glasses. Can you imagine Jesus, his brightness is even brighter than the eclipse. And it was so wonderful when everybody came together and so excited, even the news reporters, even the scientists was like, wow, this is, you know, out of all my scientific experience, because they had an eclipse in 2020, 2017. Uh -huh. But this is this eclipse was even better. I mean, uh, um, <laughs> he, well, the animals was confused. The birds didn't know what was going on. Right. I think it was an ostrich who laid a nest. <laughs> I laid an egg, rather. Amen. But it was just beautiful to see everyone come together. We watched it. Amen. Um, um, when it got dark, Notice the blackness, the moon covered the sun. So that, what are you saying? What that, what that tell you about color? That God loves all colors. God created all colors, shapes and sizes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish. Believe in the one who created the, who created the eclipse, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John 3, 16, verse 17. He that has no sin among you cast the first stone. Notice when the eclipse came out, the, the moon covered the sun. It was black. That means black is just as important as white. White is just as important as black because God created black and white. This is why us black people and white people should get along because God created all of us, Asians, he loved Asians. God's grace is amazing. He loved Puerto Ricans. He can save a Puerto Rican. Yes, he can. God can save an African. Yes, he can. He can save an Indian. Give God thanksgiving. <laughs> he created you to be just the way you are as a race, 
and it was so beautiful as all the races came together. That was God showing his glory through that eclipse. A lot of people thought it was just an eclipse, but that was the glory of God. And it made everybody so happy in the world of sadness. And it came to my mind when Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. He said, I chose you to be the light of the world for us to spread the gospel, for us to spread the love of Jesus Christ to those who do not know. That's what the Bible said, how can they hear without a preacher? How can he preach except he been sent? You don't got to be a preacher to be used by God. Jesus called us to be witnesses. Look what he said in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. And you shall be my witnesses throughout the uttermost part of the earth. Judea, Samaria, that means Brooklyn, the Bronx, <laughs> Manhattan, Staten Island, Jersey, and all 50 states. Let's stop the hate and let's not play the hate and let's not be snakes. And let's come to Jesus and love one another and don't let it be too late. That eclipse, God was speaking through the eclipse in the sky. All the nations came together. All the world was happy. Families came together sitting with their children. They was all outside. They had the sitting in their nice chairs, sitting on the beach. Everybody just happy. The news reporters happy. I saw uh, even some news reporters who were educated crying tears because they were such a such a spiritual experience. There's those witches out there who use that to, in, in another use, in a satanic experience. No. That was God that was speaking through the eclipse. We know God is against witchcraft. He speaks against it against in the book of Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. And Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. It said, regard not them who have bigger spirits, neither seek after the wizards. For I am the Lord your God. Seek after God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto you. So that eclipse was so beautiful. Yes, it was. Everything got dark and then it got bright. Right. Then it got cool for a short time. Jesus talked about signs in the sky. These, these, these are number of signs of the time. He talked about signs in the sky, but that was a sign right there. One day we would see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Oh, praise. God, Jesus is coming again. Oh my God, that represents the coming of Jesus. That all nations of the earth will see the glory of God. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. See how all the nations were coming together? That's what it represents in the spirit realm. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. My dream one day is to play my keyboard and put that worship. For he is Lord. And see everybody just waving their hand to God, begin to worship him. For he is Lord. And begin to worship the Lord and just all the nations is coming together. He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Worship him. Praise God. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus, Jesus Christ is Lord. Can you imagine all nations begin to worship wow. the Lord and begin to bow to him? And God's kind of glory comes in the place all around the world and God will heal the sick. God will turn your tears into joy. He said, weep and make and do it for the night. But joy will come in the morning time. This is your time of joy. This is your time of peace. You don't got to smoke no weed. God is all you need. You don't got to take no angel dust. And God, we ought to trust. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. When you begin to worship the Lord, God will take away your fears and he will wash away your tears. Ah, you may be smiling on the outside and hurting on the inside and nobody knows it, but Jesus knows it. Or you may have been in sexual abuse, uh, but you are the one that God is going to use. Uh, I know you've been molested when you was a child. Nobody knows it. You are not dirty, so don't blame yourself. Jesus loves you. And now God can teach you how to love yourself, teach you how to love you. But how can you love the neighbor if you don't first love yourself? That's what that eclipse represented. The eclipse was so beautiful. Then a little diamond came out of that. Let you know that God is saying, you are a diamond. Tell us someone well, you are a diamond. Which means you're somebody special. You are royal priesthood. You are holy generation. 
a holy nation, if you want to join the body of Christ, it's very simple. You can receive Jesus today in your heart. No matter where you're at, you can be in Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, Burger King. You can talk to the King of Kings on the basketball court, in your car, in your house. God is everywhere at the same time. See, this is an individual thing between you and God. This is an individual thing. You can have a conversation with God wherever you're at and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Heal my broken heart. Turn my tears into joy. I believe that you was crucified, Jesus, and you arose from the dead. You paid the price for me on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for putting that eclipse in the sky for the world to see the glory of God. Even in that eclipse, it was so beautiful. How that diamond came out that eclipse and represent that you are a diamond that God loves all races. He doesn't want us to hate each other. He doesn't want us to be racist against each other. He wants to stop all this killing and all this uh, crime. And it's time to stop the crime and say, Jesus, I want you to be mine. Let us all unite. Let, it, let us all unite. Let us not fight. Let's get with Jesus Christ. Let it be unity in the community. That's what God was speaking through the eclipse to tell the world. Let's stop the hatred. Let's stop the wars. Yes, Jesus is just saying, I'm coming again. But I'm coming back for a holy people. I'm coming back for a bride without spot or wrinkle. It doesn't matter how educated you are. Education is great. But we cannot understand the mind of God without education because his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. God works in mysterious ways. Education is great because knowledge is power, but the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, according to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Our education cannot save us. Yes, it can teach us things about life, but hell is real. Do you not know that heat was about more than a million times? It was hot a million degrees. Do you not know hell is even more hotter than that? Now, that's scary. As hot as the sun is, as hot as the eclipse is. Hell is much more hotter, and God doesn't want to see nobody go to hell. The devil do. Jesus said, the thief comes not but to steal, kill, and destroy. I thank God for the Prince of Peace. Jesus said, I come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. He don't want to see nobody go to hell. What are you going to, what would happen if you would die now? Most of my friends got shot in the hood. I didn't preach too many funerals. Up in the Bronx, up in Harlem, where I was born at. You don't, tomorrow is not guaranteed to you or me. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, it is appointed for men once to die, but the end is judgment. When your soul leaves this body, when your spirit leaves this body, where will you spend eternity? Heaven or hell? Ain't no purgatory. I don't believe in hell. We got hell here on earth. Yes, we do. But hell down there is worse than hell here on earth. We're not trying to scare you to God. We try to let you know that hell is more scarier than hell here on earth. This is why Jesus paid the price on the cross to shed his blood for the loss for you and me. It's up to you. God gives everybody a choice. But that eclipse that was in that sky, that represents the glory of God. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. But it also represents that when the praises go up, the blessings will come down. You and that devil worship, you and all that witchcraft and all that black magic and you selling your soul to the devil and you making blood sacrifices and all that stuff, you're going to have to own up to God. You're going to have to give an account to God. God see all the evil you do. You may think you're getting by with that evil, but God, everything we do here on earth is being recorded in the record book. You had witches and warlocks out there doing devil worship doing the eclipse. The devil don't care nothing about you. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, after the Holy Ghost, you don't got to take no drug overdose. He said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly, but it's up to you. Everyone not going to receive Jesus because everyone don't believe in him. Well, that's your soul. But there ain't going to be no excuse. When you stand before God in judgment, God will play that screen on. Michael, play the screen, play the video. Look when you heard look when you heard the gospel being preached and you shut your ears. Look when you heard the gospel being preached but you cussed. There's not gonna be no excuse because God doesn't force his word on nobody. He gives everybody free will and free choice. The love of God was expressed through the eclipse. The love of Jesus was expressed through the world, through the eclipse, because there's so much evil in the world. Everything's around is killing in the world. 
violence in the world. This one being kidnapped. Child sex trafficking. Devil worship in Hollywood. This one getting shot. This one getting killed. Every time you turn on the news, it's always bad news. So God chose Monday. What's today's date again? Um, well, April 8th. April the 8th? Oh, number 8 means new beginning. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Number 8 means new beginning, y'all. He chose April 8th to use the eclipse to show his glory and his love. Many of you thinking just the eclipse. No, it was God who created the eclipse, just like God created the heavens and the earth. You see, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he said, let there be light, and there was light. Many of you talk about this is Mother Nature. No, there ain't no Mother Nature. There's no such thing as Mother Nature according to God. You don't even see Mother Nature even in the Bible. This is God's nature. When you see all these floods and the hurricanes, that's God. That's God's creation. So let's stop calling Harry Kane, Harry Kane Hugo. Right. <laughs> this is Harry Kane God. Let's stop calling these earthquakes. When you see any earthquakes are scary, y'all. Didn't Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 24, there shall be wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, in diving places. Look at the earthquake that just took place last week, that earthquake just shook New Jersey. I was out there preaching the gospel while the earthquake was taking place because God has a Holy Ghost earthquake like he said the Holy Ghost earthquake when Paul and Silas was in the prison at midnight. The Bible said they sang praises unto the Lord and God sent an earthquake and broke the chains and the prison doors opened. Mm -hmm. Lord, hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. J-E-S-U-S, -E Jesus, you are the best. He's a God of holiness. He's a God of righteousness. That eclipse was God's beauty. That was God's creation. He wanted to show you and me and the world. I love you. You are my creation. Now I want you all to love one another. Stop all this racism, all this killing, and all this violence. God is concerned about the countries all around the world. God doesn't want you to have a religion. He wants you to have a relationship. Oh, I felt the Holy Ghost on that right there. You felt that right there? God wants us to have a relationship with him. Someone say relationship. When you have a relationship with God, I feel Jesus right now. A relationship with God goes beyond religion. <laughs> oh, I feel Jesus. When you have a relationship with God, this goes beyond church, y'all. There are a lot of folk go to church who don't have no relationship with God. There are a lot of folk who go to church who don't even know God. But you're doing witchcraft, black magic, all this old evil voodoo. That stuff are portals to demon spirits. When you go to psychic readers, when you're burning red candles and try to put witchcraft and try to break up somebody's marriage, that stuff going to backfire, especially when you work against a child of God. Because there ain't no weapon that's formed against a child of God that's going to prosper. I feel the Holy Ghost, you don't got to take no drug overdose. Isaiah chapter 54, verse number 17. So I'm going to pray a prayer of faith right now. That eclipse that was in that sky, it represented the glory of the Lord. When the praises go up, the blessings will come down. Whoa! I feel Jesus up in here right now. I'm going to say a prayer for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, we're having the Holy Ghost Church right here in the lounge in Mac. Praise God. He says, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Fill me with the power of your Holy Spirit speaking in tongues. I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary. Forgive me for my sins and wash my sins away, Lord. Be Lord of my life today, Jesus. I repent for my sins. Deliver me from drugs, crack, alcohol. Marijuana, you don't got to smoke no weed. God is all you need. I feel God is touching somebody right now from the crowns of your head to the soles of your feet. This is not by chance that we're talking right now. This is all God. God, you have your way. To me, folk, I'm getting excited about Beyonce and Taylor Swift and Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley, folk who had passed on. But when the other ones who had passed on, when they died, they never got up. But when Jesus died, he got up from the death the third day morning. And death could not hold Jesus down. The grave could not hold Jesus down. But number three means resurrection. Jesus got up from the dead on the cross. He said, it is finished. He shed his blood for you and me. He took your place. He took my place to redeem us from our sins. So you don't have to go to a priest. 
to ask forgiveness. The priests need to see the real high priest, and that's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is now our high priest. According to Hebrews chapter number 3 and chapter number 7. He's a king of kings. He's a lord of lords. He's a wonderful counselor. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. He's a wonderful counselor. He's a prince of peace. He's a mighty God. He's an everlasting father. Yes, Jesus was a prophet. But he's much more than just a prophet. He's a messiah. He's our redeemer. He's a healer. He's a lawyer in a courtroom. He's a doctor in a sick room. He can be your comforter. That same God that put the eclipse in the sky. Is telling you that he loves you with an everlasting love. You can repent from your sins today all around you to land. This is an important moment so we can have, you can have eternal life to be with Jesus Christ. And you can see his glory every day and have a new body. You, we can be, God will change us from a mortal into mortality. We shall be changed on that great day. When the rapture take place. Ain't that wonderful? We wait for that great day. Don't you want a new name written down in glory? There's a new name written down in glory. Oh, yes, it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. There's a new name written down in glory. Oh, yes, it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. These names that we have here on earth. Yes. In heaven, we're going to have a new name written down in glory. That's right. Oh, when the saints. Go flying in. Lord, don't you want to be in the number? Yes, I do. Amen. Want to be in the number when the saints go flying in. God bless you. God bless you as we in the laundry mat washing the clothes. Woo! God is washing your heart. He's washing my heart with his precious blood. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all honor and all glory. Thank you for putting that eclipse in the sky, which represents your glory. And that diamond that came out, that represents you a diamond. Tell us what well, you are a diamond. You are a jewel. You're royal. Praise God in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We have in church. Oh, we have in church. We have in church. We have in church. We have in church. That was good. Yeah? Or stop.